So by the I'm Pen Mong Tong. Welcome to Simple Life Cuisine. Oh, now I'm thinking I'm doing a cooking show, I'm cooking class today. So my name is Pen. I am from Laos. Some of you probably already knew me because I've been to your library many times. So my name is Pen. I'm from Laos. Laos is between everybody in Southeast Asia. So it is between China, Vietnam, Cambodia, Thailand, and Burma. So we are landlocked country. So I um I did many different um cooking at your library and other libraries. I did tonight we're doing Lao finally, and I did some Chinese, Thai, and Indian. But tonight we are doing Lao cooking, so Lao food. So we're gonna start with sticky rice, and then we'll make some dessert to let it cool, and then we'll make um salmon, and then I will make carrot salad, and I think three four dishes. So we're gonna start with sticky rice. Sticky rice is Lao staple food, food because we have to have sticky rice for every meal. So what we do is sticky rice, so if you put it side by side like this, see that the clear one here is jasmine rice, the white one is sticky rice. You have to soak it in the warm water. If you don't have time, you can do it for 45 minutes. But I like to do it like um, soak it in the morning when I go to work and then I come home, I like will steam them. Or you soak it at night and you go to sleep in the morning, you'll steam them and cook them for breakfast. So we all lunch and we eat rice for breakfast, lunch and dinner and for um, snacks too, and dessert too, to be all rice, 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 and rice, okay? So to see the different here, you have to soak it and steam it. So I'm gonna go to the sink. I'm gonna show you how to do it. Okay, come on with me. So right here is sticky rice. I have been soaking this for a few hours. You can do it for 45 minutes in very warm water, or you can do it like a few hours or, 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 or all day or all night, okay? This has been soaked. I'm gonna. I, you need this basket. This basket looks like a hand, but it's not a hand. So what I'm doing is get my rice in here. I'm gonna rinse it well. Make sure your basket is wet. So now we're gonna drain. Let it drain. Just pick it up like this, and it will drain. After this drain, we're gonna put this in this pot. Let it drain for a minute right now. Okay, let me do this. So I'm gonna let it drain. After this drain, I'm gonna put this in this pot, this special pot right here. You see the shape of it is designed to hold the basket, okay? Let's get the water, see? It's designed to hold the basket. If you have a regular pot, it just fall down because the reason is you steam the rice you, you soak the rice and steam the rice. You don't cook the rice in the water like jasmine rice because I add the water up to here like a couple of inches. You will have to make sure that the water doesn't touch the bottom of the um, basket because if you touch the rice, it does not taste good because after the, see that the, it's white right now, when it's cooked, it's gonna be clear. That's how we know. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use a pot right here, cover it, hey, and we'll leave hey. it Hey, Pen, um, uh, Barbara would like to know if you are soaking for a long time, do you still use warm water? You don't have to. If you have time, just cold water. Warm water, cold water, it doesn't matter. Only very warm water. If you don't have time, you want to rush. Okay. 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 Thank you. All right. Let's go back to make some dessert now. We're going to let the rice cook. And now we're going to come back over here. We're going to make dessert. So we can leave it let it cool so we can taste it. Okay. <clears throat> now I'm gonna um, make my um tapioca pearl first right here, tapioca. I actually did not know what tapioca was made of. It's made from yuca. See little pearl. Don't use the big one, it's hot, it's hard to cook, little tiny. Okay. See how small it is. Nice tiny little pearl. So what I have here is I have hot water in here. Um, so this is a quarter cup. No, I think it's half, half a cup of tapioca and uh, two cups of water. I'm gonna add this in. Ooh, that's pretty hot. Okay. I'm gonna stir, you wanna come over here? See, see? 
I'm going to stir this well. I'm going to bring this to boil and let it sit for a few minutes and then we'll cook. We just covered. Okay, now we're going to prepare the. Um, we are making dessert banana tapioca. I'm going to wear my gloves because I like to wear gloves. I want to protect my hands because I cook all the time. So this way my hand can look nice. Okay. It allows you to have banana that have a similar texture like plantain um, because you don't have that banana. So we're gonna use plantain. Okay, wash it first. I always wash everything before I cut. I cut. Oh, make sure you get the black one. Black is goes okay too, the, night, the inside is just white. If you get the yellow one, it's not very really white, but you can use that too, but um, you might have to cook it a little bit longer. I'm gonna cut this, I'm gonna slip here to peel. Then it'll come right up. Same thing here. See, it's easy to peel. I cut it in half, <clears throat> like quarter them. And I will cut, of course you can cut it smaller if you like. We like to cut it a little bit bigger, like big chunk. Okay, cut it in half and cut them in quarter. And cut across to make bite side pieces. You can make it bigger or smaller. I make it, make it um, a little bit small to allow people that small. Okay. Cut it in half and slip. It will come up really easy. Make sure that you wash them first because they've been sitting in a supermarket for a while and many people touch them. Because if you don't wash them, whatever is outside, you're gonna cut it and they will get inside. Okay, I'm gonna put this over here. I don't wanna put my bowl. Yeah, so you need two plantain for this. And I'm gonna tell you, if you can use regular banana too. I just tested. I did not test it before. Okay. So I tested, it is good, but you need to cook it less time. I'm gonna show you after I put this in the pot. All right, what I have here is water. You don't have to have your water boiling ahead of time but I need to speed up the process. So I, that's what I'm doing. So you can just put this in a pot, add water and put it in a, on a high heat to cook it. Okay, you just add the water just enough to cover your plantain or I call it banana. Don't add too much water because it's gonna be diluted, the, um, the dessert. It's just enough water to cover the plantain. I'm just breaking it down, breaking it up here because it sticks together. All right, see enough water just to cover this. You can add less than this or not, not much more than this. Okay, we're gonna cover and let that cook. Okay. And, okay, oh, I need, I got to turn this on high. Let's see the tapioca, how is it doing? Okay, it's doing good. It's like you're making rice. So right now, it's not cooked yet. I'm going to cover it and turn up the heat and let it sit. Okay, now I'm gonna talk about this. Um, if you don't wanna use plantain, you can use this, but it has nice aroma with this because this um, banana smells good, but don't get a very white one because it's gonna fall apart too much. But if you don't mind, that's, I don't care. So I like to like a greenish color like this. You do the same thing, I'll show you one. Same way, cut it. Feel very nice and easy. You don't need any fancy, fancy tool to peel the banana. This one a little bit brown. Did you see some brown? You just cut it off. Someone might drop it. Same way, cut it in half, quarter. But this one, if you're using regular banana like this, you're only gonna need to bring it to a boil. 
but the plantain, I'm gonna cook it for a couple minutes, okay? Because this cook very, very fast. But they, uh, they taste a little bit different. I think um, plantain does not have the banana aroma and this banana has the banana aroma, so it fits good. All right, where would I put this? Just leave it here, we'll cut it just like that. Okay, now. Okay, to make the dessert. Oh, I forgot to turn it on high. It was supposed to be boiling and cook this for just a couple of minutes. Yeah, my stove, I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna switch this because this thing is harder than this one. Okay, cook very fast. So this is off, it's just sitting here. Yeah, this one will go very fast. So I need it to cook fast. See my tapioca? It's not completely cooked yet, but I'm gonna let it sit here. But on the bottom, it stick a little bit because I use a high heat. I was supposed to turn it low, but that's okay. Keep it, let it sit here. And I actually want it to take it off the heat because that's not okay. Leave it there. By the time this is ready, that will be ready. Okay. Um, to make the dessert in Laos, we don't use dairy, so we use coconut milk. Oh, I forgot to buy coconut milk. I'll show you how to crack a coconut milk. A coconut. Um, but we have a can, so we don't have to worry about that. Shake it well. So what you do, that will boil up in a few minutes so I can make dessert. Open the can, so you need a coconut. There's a three different, I think it's a three, three, yeah. Three different kind of coconut. Now I'm confused, two or three. I will talk about an hour, no. Okay, that's boiling, that's good. That's what I need. So I'm gonna cook it for just a couple minutes. Just a couple minutes, okay? It's cooking, it cooks fast. For the um, regular banana, it's boiling, that's done, okay? So coconut is the, when the, when the coconut is young, it's green, and the meat is very, very tender, and the water inside you call coconut water or coconut juice. Then um, when the coconut is young, you drink that water, and the meat is very tender, and if you go to tropical country, don't do it right now, later, maybe next year, and when you go to a tropical country, you um, taste the coconut and the clear water inside of, of the coconut is nice and sweet, but not sugary sweet, very nice sweet, like, like sweet like me, not too sweet. Okay. <clears throat> so when, the, when it's sweet, you drink that, it's very refreshing and it's good for you. And then if you have them crack open, you cannot do it, have them crack open for you. <clears throat> and then you can scrape it with a spoon and you eat that tender meat. And when the coconut become uh, mature now it's baked brown coconut in supermarket that is mature coconut so what you do is that you shake it when you um, buy it you shake it it just wood in there that's good so it does not mean it's good it's good that it has water so you shake it a little bit water that's good so it might be good so when you get home you poke hole oh, I see my picture so it has three eyes so you pick poke hole into it and you turn it upside down and to get the water out of the coconut first. Let me stir my plantain here. I don't want it to stick. Good, good, good. It's cooking, so it's cooked fast. Okay. And then to make coconut milk, you need the mature coconut after you crack it open. What I do, I put in the bag and go in the backyard and hit it on concrete floor, very hard. Don't hit, don't put, do that on someone's head, okay? No matter how angry you are, because you're gonna yell. Don't do that. We want to, but we don't. So when to make the coconut milk, you pick the meat become very hard, attached to the super hard shell. So what you do, you use a little knife to pick out the meat from the shell and you cut it very, very small and put it in a blender. And you have to add warm water to get the coconut milk. If you add cold water, it's not gonna work. So warm water, not boiling water, and you blend it very well, and you pour in a strainer, and you get a coconut milk. That's all it is, water and mature coconut meat. If they add anything else, if they don't belong there, that's not good. And don't go buy the um, uh, low-fat coconut milk because they add more water and sell for more money. Do that yourself, okay? Just water and coconut meat. Okay, I'm gonna add my coconut in here. The two plantains, you need one can of coconut milk. 
Now I can put it on high. I'm gonna, this is one cup of sugar. Um, I know it looks a lot, but in the cake, that is two or three cups. This is only one cup. You can do three quarter, okay? Just do three quarter, right? You can do one cup or three quarter and a half teaspoon of salt. Every time you make dessert, you wanna add salt because it brings out the flavor of the coconut and sweetness of the sugar. And I'm gonna bring this to a boil. I'm gonna check on my happy yoga here. See if it should be ready, but I probably need a few more minutes for that to boil up. It's a little bit, but if I have time, I leave this here. It will come right off from the bottom of the pot. Okay, let's cover this. Let it sit here for a few more minutes because I'm waiting for coconut milk. Okay, okay. Boil up right here. It's very, very simple and very good. No dairy. See, I'm waiting for it to boil. Someone just came in late, yeah. so she wants to know. Kathy wants to know what's in the pot. Yeah, so I was you just gonna. You start? This one right here. Plantain. Yes. I was cooking plantain. This, I'm making dessert. Banana tapioca, but I'm using plantain. I'm making dessert, okay. It's boiling. I'm gonna run it to be big boil. Let's give it a minute. I'm gonna add this whole thing. It will be a little bit sweet, but you can do a three quarter because I just want to give it up to my table here. I just want it to come to a boil and I will add the tapioca and then it's done. Let's put this away. Don't go away because I like to walk away, but that's going to boil up and spill all over because I can't help myself. I'm going to walk somewhere, but I'm not going to that tonight. Okay, it's boiling really nice. All right, that's great. Now we're going to add the happy yoga. See, it's clear now. We're going to add it in here. The happy yoga will thicken this sauce. Actually, if you don't want to, you can have it just like that without the happy yoga. Happy yoga will just thicken the, um, the dessert. Um, Pen, did you yes. just an did you just answer that question about draining the water? No, I didn't hear the question. Oh, okay. So um, you don't drain the water off the plantain before adding no. the coconut milk. No. Okay. No. No. No draining. There's no need to drain because it's not bitter or anything. It's just sweet. I guess some people use to drain the plantain. See right now, I'm bringing it to a boil and that's it. So see, it's very watery right now, but you leave this overnight and this will come become very thick. I'm gonna show you that. So this is done. See how easy it is? I did not cook anything ahead of time. Everything is done here live. That's done. It's watery right now, but the tapioca will thicken the um, dessert but we allow people like it to be like this. I actually like it warm. Okay, I'm gonna show you the one that I made last night. I'm gonna take this somewhere. Okay, yeah, I can, if I can do this. All right, this is heavy. Need two hands. I will show you the one that I made last night. This one is with plantain, see yellow, yellow plantain. This one with banana, okay? You pick whatever you like. And I will show you how to serve this. I know I'm showing the circle because I need to get rid of all this so I can cook something else. See that you want to serve in a martini glass. It looks nice. Garnish with a mint. Okay. And you can just scoop this with a spoon 
for, um, I actually like it because the plantain is a little bit hard. I like to, to have it warm, but this one, this with banana, is banana is very soft. So you can just serve this in a glass bowl or martini glass and garnish with whatever you like. Would and, you would you refrigerate it overnight? Yes. Oh yes, yes, we put it overnight so it will become very nice and firm like this. Okay. okay. It's watery right now, but it will be very nice and firm. But if you like it soupy, you can go ahead and eat it warm. Okay. This is made from last night. You could do it overnight. Okay. Okay, let me clean up a little bit. So we can cook the meal. All right, now we're gonna make um, salmon. I have here this ginger. Ginger, you just wash it well and you trim off any part. I might just kind of serve you from the banana. Okay. You don't have to peel them, you just wanna trim off the um, brown part. I know some people like use the spoon to scrape it. I would just use the peeler. I will show you where's my peeler. I think I have a peeler out. Yes. So you can use a peeler to peel it, but not necessary because the peel is good for you, like potato peel. So try not to peel too much. We peel too much and then all the good stuff are in the peeler. I wash it first, anything I peel, I will put that in that bowl, okay? And cut across the grain. You have to cut across the grain because ginger is stringy, okay? And I will put it in here, so actually, I think I can clean this, okay. Ginger, garlic, I'm gonna chop this or you can just hit it with the meat powder. And I have here is extra virgin olive oil. I'm, gonna, I'm making the marinade for the salmon. I don't have to rinse this. I actually have two of these, but I didn't pour it out. I have salt and black pepper, half teaspoon salt, half teaspoon black pepper. I have soy sauce. And if you like it spicy, you can add hot pepper flake, like the one put on a pizza, or you can chop up Thai chili peppers if you like very spicy. But I don't wanna kill anyone yet. So I'm gonna just add a little bit of this. Mix this well. I'm gonna man, okay, I'm gonna save this for the next dish. And marinate your salmon. Let me push here. How much ginger do you put in this? Ginger is like a, a few pieces or a handful, as much as you want, as little as you want. Okay. More is good for you because ginger is good for you. So you marinate this overnight or few hours. I have one that's already marinated. You can actually marinate and cook it immediately because you cook in a pan. I'm not cooking on the grill. So they, they will kind of like marinating in the pan. Let's put this pork in here. If you want more spicy, you can add more peppers. If you want it very, very spicy, you can add Thai chili pepper or you can do um, um, habanero or more spicy peppers. Okay, marinate this. And, oh, I forgot to turn this on. Turn this on, like that. I'm gonna add oil, I'm gonna cook in the pan. I love cooking in the pan because they love all the flavor in here and they cook very fast, okay? 
I'm gonna give this a minute to um to heat up. I forgot to do that. I'm gonna go clean up. I'm gonna put this stuff away. Uh, be right back. Why waiting for that to heat up? <clears throat> So I think I I heard the 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 answer to this, but um, there's no ginger or garlic in the recipe. You answered that, correct? Yes. Okay. Okay. I'm sorry. My apologies. Okay. If you want to cook anything fast, you cook in a pan like this. And I love cooking. I cook steak. I cook anything in a pan like this, like pan fry, because the um, there's no oh, here it is. Okay. Found it. Found it. Okay. okay, I have one here that I already marinated earlier. I'm gonna go put them right in. This will cook very, very fast, and all the flavor will last in here. You don't need any flavor. You don't get them too close. You're going to create a lot of water in here if you get them too close. You're going to let that cook. I'm going to put this away in the meantime. can cover it for a few minutes, but don't cover it too, too long because you can free a lot of water. Okay, now since that we're waiting for that to cook, I'm going to show you how to make carrot salad. Okay, wash your carrot first, cut off the tip, and throw it in that uh, bowl. And peel your carrot. Excuse me, uh, Penn, uh, Sarah is just uh, mentioning that um, in the one of the recipes, there was uh, oyster sauce or honey, um, and you did use uh, ginger and garlic. Do you have a few different recipes that you use for the salmon? And yes. yes, you can add honey and oyster sauce because I leave out the oyster sauce because sometimes people are allergic to it or some people don't, don't have it. As long as you have soy sauce, you're good. If you have um, oyster sauce, extra flavor is great. If you want to add honey, it's a little bit sweet, that's great. But you can leave it out like I did. Got it. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. I peel the carrot. I'm going to show you how to shred this. This thing here is very good. And also this one that you see on the information. This one is a little bit harder. The strip is too thick. See that? I like this one because it's thinner. Okay, it's better than it's more like this. Faster for me. See that? It's thinner, a little bit thicker. Can you tell the difference? I'm going to do a little bit more of this. But if you want, I, I will use this one for papaya. And I feel like it's a little bit too thick, but if you were going to make stir fry, this is great. Okay, it's a little bit thicker. 
and this one is thinness. Can you can I don't know if you can tell the difference thinner thicker. Okay. So what we're gonna clean this up. Okay. Do it, but you can do it right now. It's pretty good, don't believe it. Cover it now that we need it. Okay, you're gonna clean up a little bit. Okay, move everything over. Okay, I'm gonna leave the heat off. I mean, the lid off. Okay. You don't have to move it, just leave it like that. If you want to grill this in the summer, the grill, you have to oil your grill very, very well. Okay, but I like it in the pan. Okay, now I'm going to make the carrot salad. Okay. okay. I'm running out of room. I don't want to eat that. You like spicy? A little bit. Okay. <laughs> I do. A little bit. Yeah. I want more. <laughs> Okay. I was ready to put the whole thing in here. Okay. Oh, my mother is tested. That's fine. <laughs> okay. This is what we do in love. You need to bake more on pesto. You're going to put the peppers in here and you go in and you're going to pound it. And then you're going to put everything and then pound it and stir, pound and stir. But I'm not going to do that tonight because I know you guys don't have this. Okay, so I'm going to show you a little bit different how to do this. You're going to chop the garlic and ginger and uh, garlic and garlic and pepper, pepper. I'm using red uh, green pepper because I have red one too, but carrot is red, so I don't need to add that color. So I want this to be this different color. So hot pepper. Two, okay? Don't fly. Just okay? two garlic in here. I'm going to chop this. Everything is almost ready. Instead of pounding in the modern pesto, I pop my garlic and pepper in here. Oh, that's hot. <laughs> yeah. This is what happens when you cut hot peppers. Okay, here yeah, I have fish sauce. You need fish sauce to make, to flavor the um, carrot salad. I have here a little bit of salt and sugar. Um, I have lime in here somewhere. Okay, found it, found it. I'm gonna leave this pepper in here for, for a minute. Because go right to my nose. You know, when you're choosing the lime, I, I like lime better to make the carrot salad. Squeeze it. If soft, that means there's a lot of the juice in there. If it's hard, it doesn't matter how big or small, no juice, okay? Different from lemon. Lemon all, always has juice, but it has a lot of seeds. So this is how I cut my line. Cut on this side, turn it over. Cut the other side. You're cutting around the center. That way it's easier to squeeze and you can squeeze your line in this to kill that fishy smell from the fish sauce is made from fish. Okay, I think my salmon is ready. Put the ground in. Okay. I think that's plenty. I also like to throw the, the um, peel in there and then I'm gonna smoosh it. You don't need it, you just want it to flavor. Okay, mix this a little bit. And sometimes you might need a little more or less sugar. It depends on how sweet or uh, you want. Okay. I think my salmon is ready. I'm going to take it out. I don't want it to be overcooked. So I'm going to go back to that. Okay. Let's take out my salmon. Okay. Done. I have something here. Okay. Don't use the plastic you can heat. Use the wood. 
something. Okay, salmon is cooked, not overcooked. Don't cook it too long. You will overcook them. See how fast they cook? It only takes a few minutes. Besides, I cover it. It's also on top and all these flavors. Garlic and ginger and all of that. This here. I'm gonna garnish this a little bit. I'm gonna add some of my friend hot pepper here. Oh, garnish. There we go. Another green. That's beautiful. It looks Thank awesome. You. Come looks on awesome. over, Alex. <laughs> I know now that I'm cooking and nobody's eating. It used to be like people eating at the library, not, but not now. Oh, but I know. Trust me, we we all wish we could we could be uh, tasting some of that. Thanks. Yeah. Trust me. It smells so good too. Okay, now back to the carrot salad. So I have, I throw the peel in here because it smells nice. And I have, okay, I'm gonna show you how to chop it. Oh, I have so many things here. I need to move some stuff away. Okay, the garlic and hot peppers that I have in here. You can put it in here or put it right in here, whatever you like. If you do it this way, it's like I'm making a salad dressing. Okay. Oh, it's very really hot. I don't know if you're gonna make it. Mix this now. And you add this in here. Let's not do the whole thing yet. And you want to add this um, tomatoes that I chop up. So what I have here is you chop up tomatoes, yellow, red. Okay, let me show you. I have this mix of um, uh, tomatoes because I want different color because um, carrots already have a lot of color. So I'm adding different color of um, tomatoes. You want to cut them in half or more, don't cut it too big because you want the juice of the tomatoes to, to flavor the dish. Some of this, this is the purple one. And this big juicy, big one here, you need to cut them. This juice will flavor the carrots, okay? And now what you do is usually, we will put everything in the mortar and pesto and then and then mush and then turn. I, I should show you now. I'm gonna show you in a bit. So you, you put it in here, but I'm gonna put it back here. Okay, this is what you do. You're gonna do this. And what you do is you just smooch and turn, smooch and turn. This is what you keep doing. This is a lot of exercise. This is what you do. You wanna make them soft and kind of blend all the flavor together. That's what we do. But I know you're not going to have this. It's a lot of exercise. You're going to do this. Pen, um, yeah? and our, our friend Karen would like to know, where do you get the different color tomatoes from? Mm -hmm. This day, we have these color tomatoes. If you, actually, it's not necessary to have all these color, but they all look pretty. I buy them from Sam's Club. Because you guys don't have modern pesto, you're gonna make, put everything in a bowl and you're gonna mix them red gloves if you like, and I would recommend it. So the mix um, tomato, you can have it anywhere these days. Uh, meat farm, that where I shop all the time. They, every supermarket has this mix um, tomatoes that adding nice color to this dish. But as long as you have the red one, you're good. But the different color, just to add different color to make your dish look nice. So you want to mush them together like this. It's just like you put in a modern pesto, like what I just did. See, that's it. That's all you do. Put everything together. When you put the um, lime peel in here, it makes it smell nice. And then you take it out later. Don't leave it in there. It will become bitter. Okay. 
red gloves. See how much juice I get from the tomatoes and all the kind of dressing that I made. Okay. I'm gonna taste it a little bit. It might be too spicy for you, Tess. Don't cry. <laughs> all right. Mm -hmm. I think I can handle I'm gonna need all of this flavor. For me, I will add that whole thing of hot peppers. For me. All right. You can add Wait. as pepper as you want, as little Wait. as you want. Mm -hmm. Pen, you would you would add all the peppers? You really like it really spicy? Yep, yep. I really oh. am. I'm a oh, dragon. Wow. I am a dragon. <laughs> I, like I really do. I'm not kidding. I'm not I'm not bragging. I really do can handle a lot of hot peppers. No, that's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah. But if you can handle hot pepper is good for you. It's good for a lot of cancer. I don't know which one. But if you cannot handle it, and then you can't, you know. Some people can not tolerate it at all, but I can. Okay, I'm going to dish that for you, so you have to make it look nice. Oh, sorry. <laughs> okay, I'm going to serve it in a nice bowl here. Okay because it already has a lot of colors, so I figure I will serve it in a different bowl. Okay. And take this out, because if you leave it in there, you can leave it in there if you're eating. If you're gonna leave this for tomorrow, save this for tomorrow, take it out because it's gonna become bitter. Okay. See a different thing, different tomatoes. You want to garnish, you can do um, maybe just a little bit of um, cilantro if you want, not too much. Okay, and this will go with salmon. Let me put this stuff away and I will get the sticky rice and then dinner is ready. Let me clean up my mess. Come over in here, Ted. I'm going to show you guys the sticky rice. Okay, this is the sticky rice. It's been steaming. Remember, it was white. Now it's clear. That means it's cooked. In Lao, we like to flip them, but you don't have to because I cover with it. What we do, this is what we do. I'm gonna show you magic, okay? You push it down and you turn it. Magic. <laughs> How cool. How cool is that? Oh. In Laos, my mom still put this right and cool it in a tray. I don't think it's necessary. So I would just, I like to do this way. You need wooden spoon not metal in the hat. So I'm gonna mix this a little bit. Mix, mix. And this is better than the way my mom did because my mom put it on tray and then cool them and then still have to touch the hot rice. I don't wanna do that. So I mix it in here. If it stick on here, I could just soak it with water and will come right off. So this way I can make a little ball without touching the hot rice. And I will put it in here Okay, little dry rice there. In this sticky rice container. See how easy? My yeah. mom will touch the hot rice. Oh, oh, hot, hot, hot. See, mom, why, you do, why don't you do it like me? She doesn't have to change, you know. I, I, I have two questions. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, Sandra would like to, uh, she didn't catch the, uh, what sauce you used for the carrot salad. Mm -hmm. In the recipes, it's fish sauce, salt, sugar, um, lime juice. That's all it is. Okay. 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 And you just mix them together. And then um, Danielle uh, said, is it possible to make sticky rice in a rice cooker? Will we 
also be able to get the salad yeah. recipe in writing. Uh, yes, yes, I can. I have the salad recipe. I can yes. send them. I actually forgot. I was going to show everybody because you guys are not going to have this. But I'm going to show you something else. Okay. If you don't have that, okay, let's clean it up. You can use this. Okay. You're gonna strain the rice in here instead of the basket. You're gonna strain the rice in here again. Add the water up to here, and you're gonna cover and steam the rice. Okay. You got that, guys. Make sure that you get something that doesn't go all the way down. So see how it stay up, up to here. As long as the rice doesn't touch the water, it's good. So this is great. I just bought this actually and I forgot I was gonna show you guys this. And then you cover and it's cooked the same way like this pot. But when you cook it in here, sticky rice like the basket and bamboo basket better. And when I put it in here, this uh, container designed to keep the rice warm without locking the moisture. So keep it warm, but then not if you put in a regular container, uh, don't put in a plastic, if you put in a glass um, bowl and the moisture will get locked in there and you cannot touch the rice. Sticky rice is designed to, let me wash my hand, I'm gonna show you how to eat it. Okay, I'll meet you over there. Show you how to do this. Okay. Ooh, we still have a lot of stuff here. I don't know what to do with it. Let's get them here for now. All right. To eat the sticky rice, you want to put it back in. Let me just blow my hands. Sticky rice is designed to pick it up with your hands. So you pick it up, make a little ball. And what you do is just, I, okay, I need a bowl. So, and scoop this. This is for rice. You get the little spoon. I'm gonna show you how to eat sticky rice. You have to pick it up with your hand, okay? You're gonna get your food on here. Make a little ball and you're gonna use this, okay? Make a little bite. That's not spicy at all. <laughs> I need 10 more. I need 10 more, Alex. <laughs> That's like baby food. <laughs> All right, so we have everything here. Let's put it together and I, we can take pictures. <clears throat> so everything is done. We have dessert, two different banana, and that's it. We have dessert. Sunset, guys. Beautiful. Looks beautiful. And here's the martini banana type yoga and sticky rice. Any more questions? Does anybody have any more questions? Uh, I got uh, some feedback. People are saying yum. Everybody. Uh, <laughs> They like the uh, bamboo that you had the the rice in. Mm -hmm. They, you know, they. Um, a lot of people are saying thank you, thank you so much. Oh, thank you're you for welcome. The presentation. Uh, bef before um, anybody leaves or anything, Penn, um, mm -hmm. let's let's just remind them that you will be back to celebrate Chinese New Year with us. Correct. Yes, yes. I forgot the date. What date do we have in 
Oh boy, I don't remember either. Uh, <laughs> Guys, snack for the Chinese cooking for Chinese New Year, okay? Yes, it is. Um, is I believe it is. Is it in February or March? Not March, for sure. You do. I think I think it's in February. Um, the eleventh. I, or the tenth? I think it's the tenth. I, I I can't remember right now. <laughs> Sorry, I have to look at my phone. It's in yeah. my phone somewhere. I, I'm looking as well. I apologize, yeah. everybody. That was a bad uh, reveal. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> but um, yeah, just keep an eye out for that because um, Penn will be back. It is the year of the ox. Yeah. And we will be celebrating uh, the China. Oh, here it is. I think I have it. Uh, February twelfth is uh, February twelfth is the date of the Chinese New Year. But we're doing the program the day before, which is the Thursday, February eleventh. So, mm -hmm. yep. That that's when Penn will return on uh, Thursday, February 11th for uh, the Chinese New Year celebration. But this was great. Um, yes, Barbara, I, I will email you the info. Um, um, uh, Sandra as well, I will, uh, I will send you the recipes. Um, everybody, thank you uh, for coming. Uh, Penn, they all say thank you. You did a wonderful job. Um, I'm sure you'd be getting a, you know, resounding round of applause at the at the moment. Um, but everybody was very uh, happy, and um, thank you all for attending, and thank you, Penn, for your presentation. Oh, you're welcome. My pleasure. Always a pleasure. Thank you, Alex, for having me. All right. I'll no, see you next time, no guys. problem. Bye-bye we'll now. See you soon. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Good night, all.